Hi there Sagittarius, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl. We're looking at June 22nd through June 28. And there's quite a lot happening for you this week. There are two very different cosmic energies on the agenda this week. The first one is a balanced trine that could take that could make things take off like a rocket. And the second is a difficult sign change that shows us how to move sideways and not necessarily do the Game of Thrones, you know, run over the hill straight for the enemy type thing, but maybe back over the hill and take off the other way, which is why I can't watch that show. I can't stand it. On Monday, June 22nd, Jupiter, your ruler, currently in Leo, your fire sign cousin, and Uranus, the planet of the unexpected, come together in a harmonious blend of faith in the unusual and unexpected. This is the second time this year that Jupiter and Uranus have made a fire trine. The first time was March 3rd, but Jupiter was out of phase or retrograde, so it didn't have quite the same effect as it's going to have this time. Since a Jupiter-Uranus combination is slanted towards science and technology, one can only imagine what gadgets some 10-year-old genius in some far-flung part of the universe will invent that will, could in very well impact us all in a way that will change our lives forever. This aspect also opens up a small window of opportunity for gamblers and other risk takers that will last until the end of the week. The energy shifts to Mars on Wednesday, June 24, when it enters Cancer for the next six weeks. Now, Mars rules Aries, and Mars is the planet of war and aggression and passion and just getting the job done. Cancer is a sign of the mother. It's a water sign. It's emotional. It's sensitive. So it kind of makes sense that they don't really work that well together. So it's going to be six weeks where you may feel as if you can't exactly get the things you want to get done. But around the home, it's a great time to put some time and energy into If, For example, that you've got pictures lying around that need to be hung up, or you've got screen doors that need replacing, or you know you've got to get a handyman over and get some stuff done. Use the Mars energy to do that because it's a very domestic energy. And it's definitely not the best scenario, but it's not the worst because Mars could be in a lot worse uh, signs that make it almost impossible to get anything done. So Jupiter, the planet of opportunity and good luck and fresh starts, remains in Leo through August 27, 22nd. So it's exactly uh, two months from this week. And as amazing as it sounds, it's really gone very quickly. And it's about to go into Virgo, August 22nd. Now in Leo, it's in your ninth house of spirituality, overseas travel and philosophy. However, when it moves into Virgo, it's going to be in your 10th house of career and ambition. So it's going to mean that things become a lot more serious, but that you have a lot more leeway at work, a lot more opportunities, a lot more ad time for advancement. Maybe you've asked repeatedly for a promotion or a pay rise or a better parking spot, or if you could study, do a course outside of work, which work would pay for, and the answer's always been a resounding no. Well, come in the, or September, October, once Venus moves direct, you will probably find that that sort of request is met without too many more, you know, having to beg uh, for it anymore. So it's just, a, it's just a matter of using Jupiter in Leo if you do want to travel, if you do want to study abroad, if you do want to go back to school part-time, Keep on keeping on with those requests because it will be something fantastic for you. Have a great week, great speaking to you, and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.